Actually, I have been um, doing a dialogue and reconciliation work for over 30 years now uh, in different parts of the country. Uh, really began from the, um, you referred to the 1984 riots. I got caught in those. Mm. And the first hand experience of having seen violence with my own eyes and uh, while trying to, uh, you know, protect a uh, couple of innocent people, uh, almost got uh, killed myself. Uh, that is what transformed me. Um, I was not uh, prepared uh, for actually seeing myself what one had heard and read had happened during 47 partition period. Uh, which was a shock because uh, one had this uh, vision of India being a country uh, which was non-violent, which had the capacity to settle issues, uh, political issues, uh, without uh, using violence. And there were m many myths about India that got exploded uh, at that time for me. And I started asking many questions to myself. Um, uh, do I stand as a bystander? Um, who is responsible for the upheavals that happen? Can one hold a individual or a group of people belonging to certain parties responsible for creating this mayhem? Or do we all of us, members of society, do we all also contribute in creating a crisis through our attitudes, whether that of indifference, of uh, taking sides of this or that, uh, through our prejudices, are we not also contributing uh, through our silence? Um, and as this whole process of thinking uh, started in my own mind and in my head uh, that each one of us contributes to the creation of a crisis and uh, upheaval in society. Uh, perhaps each individual can also contribute to uh, dealing and repairing and restoring what is destroyed and lost. 